Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. But I'm micromanaging some, like that dude right there, he's not going to make it. I am going to bump him all the way up to position one on the queue. And then Ruby Moon over here is going to go to position two on the queue. And Ian Marathon there is going to go, actually he's going to go below that one because his diagnosis is already certain. Their diagnosis is not where theirs is, so this one needs to go first. That person's going to die before we get diagnosis. But, uh, yeah, so the ones without certain diagnosis, we've also got to take that into account, haven't we? Right, it, it does take them a little bit longer. Now, you right there, your diagnosis is certain. I'm going to put you down below some of these because they've got um, low health. The rest of those are fine. And over here, your diagnosis is fairly certain, but your health is also getting to the point where you've still got to wait on a queue. Yours is 100%. So we'll let you go first, and then you. That person can move down here. Uh, you need to move up. We'll put you in there. Okay, I've got a lot of people in this particular doctor that is... We're going to struggle. Like, so, oh, wow. Okay, I, I, I got loads of them on this doctor over here. There's loads of them here. We need more diagnosis. We definitely need more diagnosis, don't we? Right, let's, let's run you up like that. And you're going to have to go like that. You I want seen sooner. Despite health, if, you know what? No, I'm going to drop you down below all of these lot. Try and get some more treatment. We'll, we'll, we'll do it like that. That's a, that's not such a good cue, that is. Like that cue in there, that, that one's a little bit more serious. Staff challenge from Susie Rhymes. Promotes it, promote three staff. I should be able to do that, actually. Like, our, our staff promotion is, is coming along fairly well at the moment. We're, we're Nurse to chromotherapy, please. Nurse to chromotherapy. We're drastically improving things, and our revenue is really starting to come up now. Head office. Get them to wait. Head office is being researched. And I've got all these screens to help with the research, which I'm hoping is helping things. Someone's died over here. That's not very good. We've got cures. We've got cures over here. Course complete diagnostics. I don't have diagnostics 2 available. I've got treatment 3. General practice three as well, so that we can get them going through the doctors. Actually, that would be a really good thing, wouldn't it? If we get them going through the actual doctor surgeries faster, that would be a lot better. I mean, yes, I'm going to have to pay out a fortune on this, and I've only got one person available, who would be Dr. D. Grunt. She's going to take that one. We'll take you. You, you can train in that one there. So then we've got GP level three. And I get GP level 3 rolled out through some of our staff. That's going to really improve things. Staff promotion. Isabel Fuddle is ready for promotion. There we go. And staff promotion in here. Tommy Legend is ready for promotion, which means that we can go and train him on level 2 research as soon as this one over here is done. Waiting with the... There comes the trainer. They're coming in to do that particular bit of course over there. Yeah, you missed the door. You want to go in here. Right. That one's underway. Now, we've just got to... Uh, do you sometimes wonder whether to say 000. you and I or you and me? Congratulations. You are one of the many poorly educated louts who make life unbearable. There is a very simple formula you can apply to discover which form is the correct one, but I fear even that would be too complex for you poor souls. <laughs> okay. A special report. We cured three out of four patients with the spinal bap. So we get the ten grand, but we don't get the bonus because this final person right here, treatment failed. Treatment failed on that final person right there. Uh, Fred would derp. Right there, you. You've got surgery too. And treatment. 
We're waiting for one more in there. But yeah, you still fail to treat them. Like, it's quite a diff... Like, you have got difficult things to train now. So we, we need to make this more effective. We can upgrade our easy scan to make it more effective. You select the item, choose it. The janitor can come along and upgrade it. Okay. Easy scan over here. We can upgrade that one. That one was one that we were told quite some time ago that we'd be able to do that. And we just never actually quite got round to it, did we? Now, how is this queue doing over here? These were the ones we had quite a lot of low health people. It's kind of improved a little bit. We'll move some of these up a bit. Up the list, like that. The low health needs to be prioritised. You really do start to... Like, you play a game like this, and you actually start juggling the queues around and trying to figure out who should be seen the fastest, that sort of thing. It really does genuinely make you appreciate what doctors and nurses have to go through on a regular basis. I've, it's, it's genuinely amazing what doctors and nurses have to go through on a regular basis. Just to be able to see the right people at the right time. So that they can get everything all kind of dealt with. Right? That person up there, certain diagnosis, health really high... Everything is great. They definitely need to be seen after some of these other people. Right? They, they definitely need to be moved down the list a little bit. Because there are other people who are in a much more dire situation than they are. Now that person there, yes, their diagnosis is now certain. Uh, that person there, their diagnosis is not certain. But their health is really low. So we want to move them up to the top of the list. Because they're probably going to have to see more people. This person here has definitely got to go to the top of the list. But they're probably not going to make it. Right, that's an emergency care right there. This person here is also probably not going to make it, but we're going to have to do triage here. So that person there, 3% health, I don't think they're going to make it. They're not going to get to treatment on time. This person might if we can get diagnosis done. So, yeah, we, we, we kind of want to, we're, we're triaging here, and this, this is not what I wanted to do. This, this, this is really difficult. I'm having to make life and death decisions. I'm not qualified for this. I'm absolutely not qualified for making these kinds of decisions. I'm not the sort of person that can cope with it. Please don't make me do this. What about you? Appointment in the ward for diagnosis. So we got all of these different diagnosis rooms, but they're still using the GP surgeries. The next thing that I actually wanted to do, though, was I have got uh, courses available. G General practice three. Trainers, I've got my Dr. D grunt over here. However, I've got a lot of money. So rather than using up my own doctors now with this, I'm thinking that we should call this person in here. And then I've got Dr. Isabel Fuddle. She's also able to get position three on there. Uh, that's general practice right there. Okay, I, I will just go with the general practice. We'll take you. You can go into here. And then trainee. I'm going to spend the money. I'm going to spend 25 grand on this. And that way we keep the other doctor sort of in the loop. Let's go into here now. And our staff and our rosters in here. So I've got doctors. D Grunt is now only going to be working in GP's offices. Right? She is limited purely 100% to GP's office. I've got practice over here. She is also going to be limited only to the GP's offices because she's got GP level 3. And she's GP level 3. And then you, David Bamshoot, you will... Well, you, you can work in these others for a minute. You won't be in surgery. But you will eventually only be allowed to go into there. We've got Psychiatry 2 over here, and I've got Psychiatry 2 in here. So you can assist in the GP surgeries as and when it's needed for the minute, as can you. But then eventually, well, no, no not you, not yet. Uh, psychiatry, eventually the Psychiatry 2 there, she's working in Psychiatry. She should no longer be really working in surgery. I suppose she can for a bit, but psychiatry needs to be her area of expertise, Pookie Rainbow. And then down here, we've got Scotty Doolittle. She will also be working only in psychiatry. We will limit the GP's office for her, and we will train psychiatry 3 or treatment or diagnostics. 
one of those and then we will limit her in the psychiatry areas as well maybe move her out of the gp surgeries but we want specialist gps you're ready for training D david bamshoot so you will be gp level two very soon i think that's going to work out very well i think it's going to work out absolutely wonderfully getting all of these people through so you're not doing anything at the minute all right. Always proceed no, with you're not. Caution. Always proceed with caution. Look at all these people being cured. This is so wonderful. It's so beautiful. There's cures. Look, 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 look. We got happy people walking out of the hospital. This has happened. This hasn't happened in a long time. Happy people walking out of the hospital has not happened in a very, very long time. Isn't this wonderful? This is absolutely wonderful. Uh, there's quite a queue for people in the wards over here. He's waiting for treatment. Not treatment. He'll be waiting for um, diagnosis. Uh, staff training required. Current qualifications. Gregory. Oh, yes. Right. Well, not yet, but you will be trained. Curing more of the patients would get us more. I'm on my way to doing that. Like, I'm actually... Point Radio. I overheard two adolescents mocking a poster advertising this very radio station and yours truly. And can you believe it? They didn't even know what radio was. I'll tell you what radio is, you sultana-brained miscreants. It is a delivery system for class and integrity. It is the home of the world's noblest profession. And it is the fastest growing medium among people with three-figure IQs. Next up, some god-awful jingles. <laughs> I love this guy. Sultana brained idiots and... <laughs> you got, you got to love this guy. You've absolutely got to love this guy. He's brilliant. It's just the way he lays his smack talk down. It's absolutely fantastic. It really is. It is genuinely awesome. Uh, right. We're, we're almost done over here. I'm thinking that we could do with training this dude up a little bit further. We've got you in here. You're number two in the queue. You can stay number two in the queue. We need the turtle head to finish. And I need to go for some training in here. So I've got diagnostics. We've got general practice two was a nurse that I want to bring up. I've got surgery two that I can train. And I've also got research two as well. Trainees, Dr. Tommy Legend it is available for research too. But I don't want to do that just yet. Uh, customer service, mechanics, general practice too. I'm thinking I'll go with training up the doctor that I want as extra on here. I got trainees. I'll go with you because I got the money at the moment. And that's the doctor that I want to train so that he can start doing more work in general practice and be more useful in general practice. So we'll get him training up in there. Might be an idea if we just go and check our GPQs a second. Just to see if we've got any low health patients that need to be bumped up. You could do with coming up the queue a little bit. Where did I drop you? Did I drop him off the queue completely? Okay, you definitely need to be moved up the queue. Uh, who are you? Pookie Sausage. Pookie Sausage is in dire need of treatment so she's got she's got we gotta move her right up the list like that she she's um she's serious then we want to come over to here and we want to look in there and oh definitely you need to move up wait not like that go into here Q. ruby moon is about to perish ruby moon is not going to make it rich legend there still waiting more diagnosis this is the great thing about getting the doctors with their GP level three. For this very special edition of Sir Nigel Reviews, I visited the Seven Feet Under Funerary Home. I wish to make arrangements for my own eventual demise. And as with everything else, one must try before buying. After being buried for three hours in a variety of coffins, I finally decided on a lovely worm-resistant oak casket. Greatly recommended. A worm-resistant oak 
casket. But that wasn't morbid in the slightest. Not even a little bit. Okay, I've got a whole load of patients over here who are in pretty bad shape. So I'm moving all the healthy people to the bottom of the list so that we're only left with the absolute healthiest people at the top of the list. Uh, the, the, the healthiest people to the bottom of the list so that we're left with the really bad way. You are probably not going to make it. I'm still going to put you up to number one, but I can't see you actually surviving for very much longer. Uh, that one, we need to bump those around a little bit. Uh, you also need to come around a little bit like that. And you can just move down to there. Right. That's looking a little bit better, but that one's pretty grim. That that one right there is pretty grim, really. Like, we, we, we're in a sorry state of affairs on there. Why is this um, psychiatry room not actually being used? Do I need another psychiatrist? Is that what is that what we need? Is is that what we're after in here? Like psychiatry. If I have a look at the doctors, Pookie Rainbow is able to is working psychiatry. I've got one there that's got a bit of psychiatry. You're working GP. All right, let's go in here. Go to the job assignments, and you are psychiatry only. You're not in GP's office at all. So well, then we want to go up here. You right there. Your training. Your training's almost complete. Pookie Rainbow is only in there. You, Isabel Fuddle, you're fine. You're Scotty Doolittle, I don't want you working in a GP's office anymore. Because i got one, two, three, four people that can work three GP's offices. So we want one more doctor. Susie Rhymes is able to work the GP's office as well. She shouldn't be. I don't want her working the GP. I've got three people working the GP's office now. Three GPs. Yeah, we, we definitely need to check. Scotty Doolittle, I want you psychiatry, deluxe. You, you're able to work in... No, you, you can't work in surgery. You're not qualified. Uh, D. Barton needs to be trained for better surgery. I want another uh, dedicated GP. That's what we want. We want another dedicated GP. I've got one right there who I think would be the best one. Lola McGuffin. You here, you've got research, which is completely wasted slot. So I'm going to go Lola McGuffin. Tires easily, wants more frequent breaks, but is able to work and can help out. So we will drop you into there, and then we can go back in this way, and we can go into our list. Lola McGuffin over here, you're not going to be working any of the other lines, and also you are not going to be working any of the others. GP only for those two, and then as soon as you train, I train you up a little bit more. That's that's going to help us out. I think that's going to be a good thing. Staff challenge cure ten patients, and four patients with spinal back. Patient yes, surgery. absolutely. Now arriving. Staff promotion. Patients for surgery are arriving. David Bamshu is ready for promotion, so we can promote him immediately. Promote three staff. We've done that. General practice two is complete. So then I can go back in here and I will have general practice three all ready. One trainee in there. Three trainees potential for general practice. So it's not number two. But you, I'm going to get that David Bamshoot dude. He's immediately ready for training again. So he can go into there and then I will bring in an outside trainer for this one once more. Start training. And there is a GP level 3 that I will have once that one lot of training is done. This over here is still working. That's going to take a, a minute or two just to get through. That's, again, that's, that's something that I'm fine with. I've got 15, 16 people over here. But what I'm also hoping is that getting level 3 GPs means that, yeah, we, we've got patients who are unhappy and storming out. Level 3 GP should mean that diagnosis comes faster. I don't know if we... Can you get a level 4 GP? Is level 4 a, is, is level four a thing that can be done? I don't even know if that's a thing that can be done, to be honest. Now, we've got these patients. Spinal bap surgery. Have I got spinal bap being dealt with over here? I do. I've got another... i got one of them being dealt with over this side. You're being dealt with over here. 
patients over here. We've got Mockstar being cured in there. We've got... Uh, well, there's nobody in there at the moment. No queue in the, in the psychiatry room. You over here. General practice level 3 is now completed. Brilliant. That is fan schmastic. So let's go and have a look in here. I got psychiatry, diagnostics... Treatment level three, uh, getting several nurses trained in level three. Like, look at all these. See, th these are all nurses and doctors that we have as treatment only. Right, let's see. We will go one, two. Dr. D. Barton, I want her level two surgery. Susie Rhymes, doctor. She is going to stay as a general purpose doctor. Stays out of diagnosis. And Nurse Orlando. In there. So I've got four people in there coming in. And I got Dr. Meredith. I need 60 grand for this. So I'm going to go into there. And I'm going to take out another loan. Uh, 50 grand would be enough. Pay for that. Let's try that again, shall we? We want treatment level three. I need a trainer in there. I don't have treatment level three anywhere in the hospital. So we want Dr. D. No, she was trainer up somewhere else. And that one and that one. So we've got four people in here. Upfront fee, tuition fee. Oh, I, I still don't have enough. All right. Repay that one and take that loan out instead. I will do this. <laughs> I will do this. You're not going to stop me from doing this. This this extra training bit is vitally important now. So I want those two there and these two here to start with. Start training right there. There we go. Huge amount of money being paid out for that particular round of training, but it's definitely worth it. Rival executive and CEO of Bungle, Sophie Nova, has informed us that she'll be visiting the hospital for inspiration soon. She has said that Bungle Meditech Hospital has been experiencing some inefficiencies, and she needs a fresh perspective. If she's impressed with the hospital, she might share some information that could help our research department. Excellent fan schmastic. Staff training required. Fredwood Derp. Fredward Derp has literally just been told to get his butt down there to um, the training room in order to get some training. Like, literally, I have just sent him down there to get some training. Uh, right there, I have got a person. Wait, let's, let's just have a look here. You. Oh. I don't think there's much point... Bumping you to the top of the queue. Well, certainly not, because, yeah, that's not going to happen. Cure 10 patients. We did that successfully. 20% happiness. Rival executive now approaching the hospital. Okay, rival executive approaching. I have cured two people so far in progress two. Right here. So I've got a nurse who's busy changing. I've got someone that's going off for a break. Surgery over this side is waiting. Right, head office required. Send patient home, then they won't... They don't officially die in the hospital, then. You will be getting your training. And there we go! Head office has finally been unlocked. Oh, we've been waiting for that for such a long time. Right, that means we can start upgrading a few things in here for treatment. First up, we want to, what? well, what can we do? X-ray. After Bungle Tech's discovery of E-rays and W-rays, which only vaporize one in every hundred patients, scientists have speculated on the possible existence of an X-ray. This could revolutionize patient diagnosis. Okay, let's go with X-ray. We can upgrade the head office. Upgrade the DNA lab, upgrade Chromith. So we've got upgrade project. I'm going to go with the X-ray project anyway. I think that would be a good idea. But no, what we really want to do is we want to go down through here and we want to do a head office. 30 grand. Right, this is a 4x4 four four room. That's going to go in that corner. Like that. I suppose I could do it there, or I could move it along and I could pop it down here. No, I'm not. I'm going to put it there, and we will do it like this. So we'll have a door on that side, and then 
What on earth is this thing? <laughs> I want to see this being used. I really, I, I really want to see this tur turbo plunger. <laughs> what on earth does a turbo plunger do? Uh, seriously, that thing looks frightening. That thing looks genuinely frightening. Wickedly cool and genuinely frightening all at the same time. Not sure I would actually want to be involved with it uh, myself, personally, but I'm sure it is a wonderful thing. We'll put a bit of hand sanitizer in here. Anything that kind of size and seriousness, that's definitely going to need hand sanitizer to, to, to be able to be used. Uh, there's no two ways about it. That Something like that definitely requires the use of hand sanitizer. I, I guarantee it. We'll put a plant in that corner, right? We're, we're going to want the operator to be chilled. They're definitely going to need to be able to chill. And we'll put a chair in there. Gold record over here. Just pop one of those up on the wall. Jasmine Odyssey photo over here, over in the corner. Prestige level three. I think that, that, that'll be all right. We we'll go with prestige level three on there. I don't think there's anything else that I need in here. No, there isn't. Done. There, I've got it. I've got the, the whole turtle room. What do I need? I need, a, ooh, I need a doctor in here. There, I don't think there's anything special that I need for the doctor. Let's go to characters, staff, and have a look in here. They are all able to do the turtle thing at the moment. So you are a GP doctor, so you're not coming in here. You are treatment, so yes, you can. You are psychiatry and GP. So really, I don't want to be letting you do anything other than psychiatry. I would like to... Scotty Doolittle, I would like to improve your psychiatry skill, actually. So I don't want you doing anything else. You are GP only. David Bamshoot, you are definitely a specialist GP. Let's go right up to the very top up here. You are a specialist GP. Isabel Fuddle. Pookie Rainbow is... Psychiatry only. Pan's Lab. Uh, I'm not sure that we should be allowing you into here because you haven't really got, like... The... And surgery you can do as a backup and then you've got the Pan's Lab. So you've, you've got your things cut out for doing that. You're a surgery doctor. So you're not going into head office. Then here, GP only. Two lots of treatment, right? As long as i got double treatment on here, I'm allowing them to work in anything. And I will train D. Barton in extra surgery as well. So I've... Oh, wait. Didn't I have another? No, I don't. That's the only surgeon. Normal, Dabble, and you are going to be surgeons. And then you're a surgeon as well. So there's our surgeons that we've got. You are psychiatry only. You are GP only. You here, Susie Rhymes, you definitely can have head office. You definitely cannot, and Lola McGuffin definitely cannot. So, so far, I've only got two. I want another treatment doctor, which will be able to do any of the treatment things. So, we will take on another member of staff. Nurses in here. We kind of need to be careful where nurses are allowed to work and where they're not. So, some of them. Lauren Pond over here. Not in the pharmacy. Any diagnosis ones you are? No, no, no. Uh, no, no, and no. Lots of treatment in here. Yes, you are diagnosis there. Uh, the rest of those are looking pretty good, I'd say. Because they're treatment, so they can go and work in surgery. That that will be acceptable. All right, there's that lot. So it's uh, doctors that I could do with. I could do with an extra treatment doctor. That's what we'd like. So we're going to hire and we will find a doctor that can be done for treatment. We've either got to start... I think actually it's not going to hurt to have someone training up from base level. But what I will do is I'll get rid of you and I'll get rid of you. Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today so we will return next time in the meantime if you have enjoyed this episode then could you please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later